let's take a look at some terminology here. We're going to fill in the blanks. If we're, when we're talking about coterminal angles, uh, we're talking about angles with the same terminal arm. So we could have a picture where there's one angle that stops right there, but another angle might go all the way around and then stop right at that same moment. So the angles are different, yet they end with the same terminal arm here. So they're separated by a multiple of 360 degrees, or in other words, two pi radians. Now a principal angle of a set of coterminal angles is the smallest positive rotation angle with the same terminal arm. So you may have an angle that is, well you may even think that there's an angle that's negative, right? Angle that's negative, but we want not to get to it by negative, but the smallest positive angle that reaches that angle. The principal angle is between 0 and 360 degrees, or in other words, between 0 radians and 2 pi radians. Now reference angles are very important, so it's, these are important to note. The reference angle is the acute angle formed between the terminal arm of the rotation angle and the x-axis. The relationship between the rotation angle is given uh, below in degrees and radians. So let's take a look at what a reference angle is. So when we have this graph, or this coordinate system, we can see that there might be an angle that looks like this. And this whole thing would be the principal angle. However, the angle that makes it to the smallest angle to the x-axis is going to be your reference angle. So we can do another example here. So if we had another angle, and the angle is over here. That might be the, the angle. However, the smallest angle to the x-axis, remember the x-axis is the horizontal axis, this is your reference angle. So depending on which quadrant you're in, there may be a different calculation for finding um, the rotation angle or the reference angle. Taking a look at this table, we have the relationship in radians. The rotation angle is equal to, well, if it's in quadrant one, then the rotation angle will be equal to the reference angle again. But what about in two? Well, remember that 180 degrees is the same thing as pi in radians. So pi minus the reference in radians will be the the angle, the, the principal angle there. In quadrant three, which is down here, remember that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So pi minus reference. And in four, if pi is equal to 180, two pi is the full circle. So two pi minus the reference. Let's take a look at class example 5, and let's draw the angle given here. This angle is 3 pi over 4. So if we think about pi radians as 180 degrees, we can think 180 degrees divided by 4 is 45 degrees. 45 degrees times 3 is 135. So this is right smack dab in the middle here, and you can see that is the angle, the principal angle. And remember that an angle in center position always starts along the positive x axis, right? So right there, and then counterclockwise is positive. So what is the principal angle? Well, it's 3. This is the principal angle already because it's positive, and it's the smallest positive that gets to that terminal arm. Let's determine one positive and one negative coterminal angle for this angle. Well. Remember that a coterminal angle, we can add or subtract a full rotation. Now in radians, a full rotation is going to be 2 pi. So we can add 2 pi to this. So we can say 2 pi plus 3 pi over 4. Now remember that 2 pi, we can think of as 8 pi over 4. And when we add that to 3 pi over 4, 
we have a common denominator now, we can say it's 11 pi over 4. So that is one positive coterminal angle. What if we subtracted 2 pi? So if we have 3 pi over 4, instead of adding 2 pi, we subtract 2 pi. Now, I'm going to use this 8 pi over 4. So when we subtract it, we have negative 5 pi over 4 as the negative angle. Well, let's see if we can write an expression involving the principal angle that represents all the angles in the domain where the angle is real. So remember, we could start off with the principal angle, and so theta could equal that, but it could also have full rotations in either the positive or negative direction. So we can say plus or minus, however, I'm just going to say plus 2 pi, a full rotation, but using n, that n being an integer, so the n can be positive or negative, and that takes care of going positive or negative. So that is the expression that tells us what the angles could be. Let's take a look at b. We have an angle of negative pi over 3. Now if we think of pi radians as 180 degrees, we can think of this as negative direction from the standard position is down this way, and there is the uh, this is the actual angle, but is not the principal angle. So in order to get the principal angle, let me make that red so we know. Not the principal angle. The principal angle starts from zero and goes all the way the smallest positive angle that gets to that same coterminal arm. So we have this as a reference angle is pi over 3. And so we think it's just pi over 3 short of being a full 2 pi or full ro rotation, which is 2 pi. So we're saying 2 pi minus pi over 3 is actually the principal angle in this case. So 2 pi, using a denominator of 3, we can think this is 6 pi over 3, which is equivalent to 2 pi, minus pi over 3. Now we have a common denominator of 3. 6 pi minus pi is 5 pi. So this is the principal angle. Well, let's find one positive coterminal and one negative. So if we added another 2 pi, so if we added 6 pi over 3 plus 5 pi over 3, we would get 11 pi over 3. Now this, when we're talking about 6 pi over 3, I'm talking about a full rotation. So it's, I'm using an equivalent form of 2 pi where this it has the same denominator. So 11 pi over 3 is an, another coterminal angle and what if we subtracted 2 pi? So we have pi over 3. If we subtract 2 pi, we have 5 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3. We get our negative pi over 3, which is our original angle that we had. So maybe we should subtract another 2 pi. So we have ne negative pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, and we get negative 7 pi over 3. Okay, there is a negative coterminal angle. Let's see if we can find the expression then for all the angles that represent the coterminal angles. So we should use the principal angle here. And we have the principal angle, so theta could equal the principal angle of 5 pi over 3. But then we can add any full rotation, so 2 pi, but in any direction, positive or negative. So we say n where n could be a positive or negative number, so n being an integer value here, positive or negative counting number. Let's take a look at class example 6. Determine the reference angle for the following rotation angles. If we had a full 3 over 3 pi in radians, that would be one full pi. So it would look, it get to this point at least, right? A semicircle. But then it's pi over 3 more than a full pi, so it's another pi over 3. So this is pi over 3. And that pi over 3 we can see is the smallest angle that you can make with the x-axis. So there we have this reference angle of pi over 3 in this case. What about for b? Try to draw the picture here. In the negative direction, so from the standard position, x positive and going in the negative direction which is count, uh, which is clockwise this is one full pi 
and we're going one more quarter pi past that point. So it's right there. Now we can see that this is a pi over four as a reference angle. And finally in C, if we go by sixes, that's one pi. So counterclockwise positive six pi over six, which is one, 12 pi over six, it's another one, 18 pi over 6 will bring us another pi or another 180 degrees. And then we're almost, almost to 24 pi over 6, but we stopped short by what amount? We stopped short by this amount of pi over 6. So this is our reference angle because it is the smallest angle that it makes with the x-axis.